you know, it kind of gives validity to the to the dude who gets knocked out but stands back up and, you know, wipes the dust off his pants and keeps on going, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you know, perseverance is uh, is something that I'm you know, definitely... And, and what are, the, what are those, those guys doing? Are they doing regular day jobs now, or are they, um, like, doing their own projects? So, yeah, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I know that Todd is, has a, his own little side band. Yeah. I'm married, and Matt is married with two kids, and and... You know, I I think that Todd was all aside from him being a, a guitar player. I think he was always a singer at heart and a songwriter. Yeah. And I think that you know he'd already been in two bands that sold platinum records. Yeah. And he just wanted to sit back and spend time with his family mm-hmm. and just kind of write some stuff that you know he could sing on. And the stuff that he writes is is really cool. It's a lot different. Yeah. You know, and then what we write, you know, but there's similarities, and, and I think that Matt did the same thing, you know. It's really frustrating when you're, like, you know, your whole life is based on this career, and this career is based on, you know, record deals that are, you know, contractually obligated to you, but really not ultimately, yeah. you know, worthy of anything. It, it was a hard time, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, it was really hard. <laughs> Yeah, and how many? How am I going to And when, when do you think you started that "quote unquote" hard time, and and when did you come out of it? Like, for how many years do you think you went through that? Well, on my birthday of 2006 is when I knew that we didn't have the deal. Right. You know, so it was kind of like a wake up call, and it was like, all right, we didn't have a deal, whatever. Yeah. And my first thought was like, all right, we'll be able to get another deal, you know. I mean, you know, we sold enough records, we were, we're a commodity, you know, we'll be able to get another deal. But the thing was that I think that what ultimately fell apart was that, you know, the hunger that made this band successful with all the individual members at that time, at that point was already kind of like gone, you know. They were just right. like over it. And, you know, as much as I pleaded for them to stick around and believe in it, you know, they were just done, you know. And yeah. I have to respect that, you know. Yeah. Because I don't have kids, so I don't really know how that is, you know. Yeah. But I definitely respect it. And hopefully, you know, I'll always be thankful for what we did together with them. But, you know, hopefully they're happier in their new lives and whatever decisions that they make. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, all I'm, all, all I'm doing is what I do, you know, and this is what I do. I'm a musician, you know. Yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. not a soft story. It's more more of an underdog story because we were underdogs yeah. twice. First record, we were underdogs. And now, you know, we were underdogs this time, and everything seems to be happening really well, you know. So it's kind of, uh, it, it's cool. It almost feels like the first time. Good, good. Well, I mean, I think a lot of musicians kind of go through what you're going through, but they end up where, um, like, your former members have just decided to move on and, and focus more on their, you know, families and whatnot and get regular, like I said, day jobs. But for you, you you're obviously a trooper, and, uh, you know, you you got that true musician in you and, you know, that totally, as you said, um, underdog fight, which is, yeah, which is amazing. I mean, like, the I'm, underdog quality ultimately at the end of the day, it makes you, you know, when you know that, you know, you know that people are kind of like brushing you off, the underdog factor makes you ultimately think, it, may, it almost, almost makes you fight even harder, you know, it's like when people tell you you can't do it and it's not going to happen or whatever. That's right. But, That's you know, awesome. it, it ultimately to me is like something that like fuels me, you know. Yeah, well, that that's one of the reasons, like for me, as what like what my my magazine was back in the yesteryears was a punk magazine, and that's what really attracted me to the, the genre of punk was that it was that do-it-yourself attitude and screw the world kind of deal, and that's what kind of attracted yeah. me to the world of music and whatnot. Yeah, and now it's turned into what you have right now, which is like maybe a more organized fashion or you know focused idea of what you initially had. But it's yeah. good to see that, you know, all these years later that you're still doing it in a bigger scale and everything, you know. 
Yeah, well, hopefully um, for me, like, like I had to make the decision of killing my magazine this time last year, and then at the other end, I felt like I was killing my own kid, but at the other end... Yeah, um, it is. They, they are like your kid. Well, yeah. I treat I yeah. treat it like my kid, and then I had to make the decision of going online, and here I am today, so... You know, we'll see. Oh, you know, how congratulations to that. Good for you thanks. for sticking in there. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I'm Thank seeing you the for pain. giving us the time to, you know, interview us. And oh, no worries. Us. No worries. I mean, we're here to help each other, I guess, artists and uh, quote unquote web publishers or whatnot. So, anyways, I guess that's about it. I got to think another interview coming up in the next little bit. So, appreciate all the time. Well, dude, thank you so much for no time and support. And hopefully, you'll get to listen to the whole record and check it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. And all right, all so right, man. We'll meet in Toledo. Yeah. All right, sure. right. All right, man. Rich, thanks, man. I just sent thanks. you over the assets, so you take pictures and the album art and all that. So okay. let me know uh, when it goes up. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to probably hopefully post it either tonight or tomorrow. Perfect. All right. All right, man. Have a great day. Thanks. Same with you. Talk Bye. to you soon, man. Bye. 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 See you. Hey, you.